guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone is doing good. Today I have for you an easy and inexpensive Dollar Tree Anchor Wreath. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, share this tutorial, and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. For this wreath, you're going to need one anchor frame from Dollar Tree, and you're going to need some yarn. I picked this yarn up on clearance at Michael's. I think I only paid a couple dollars for it, and it does not take very much yarn at all, so I had a lot left over. You might want to put on your hot glue finger guards to wrap your anchor frame because I ended up burning my fingers, so I would recommend wearing the hot glue finger guards for this DIY. First, I just took my yarn and I tied it onto the top of the anchor frame. You will also need your hot glue gun and your glue sticks for this DIY. So I added a little bit of hot glue to the anchor frame and then I just kind of placed the yarn in the hot glue and then I started wrapping the frame. This is a very simple DIY. It takes just a little while to wrap the anchor frame. You just want to get it as nice and even and close together as possible. And I did use some hot glue every once in a while. That way I knew it wouldn't move or slide or anything like that. I did not put yarn in the very center section of the anchor and then at the very bottom. And you'll see why in just a little bit, but if you wanted to, you could wrap that section or those two sections with yarn, but at the very bottom, it's a little tricky because the wire doesn't go across. So I made a pretty floral swag for that part. For the horizontal bar, I am just tying on some more yarn. Now you could hot glue it on, but I find it easier to tie the yarn on. Then add a little hot glue to the end of the anchor wire frame. Then place the yarn in the hot glue. Just be very careful and then start wrapping your frame. Now I only did it to the middle section and I left that empty, but you could fill that in if you want to. I did add a beautiful bow to the center there.
for the ends, it's a little bit difficult because if you don't add a little glue as you're wrapping, it seems to want to slide off the end and become kind of bulky. So I would recommend when you're doing each end to hot glue pretty often. Next, I'm going to be tying a bow. I picked up this ribbon after Easter on clearance at Michael's, and you'll want to use ribbon with wire for your bow. And I picked up these pretty flowers at Dollar General. Now, the smaller ones are only $1 each, and they are so cute and so pretty, and just the perfect size for this anchor wreath or wall decor. The larger flowers are also from Dollar General, and I believe they're $3 each. So Dollar General has some really pretty flowers in new for summer, and I took another Dollar General shop with me at a new store, and I did take a video of their pretty flowers, and I'll try to upload that for you maybe tomorrow. There are lots of different ways that you can decorate your anchor wreath. At First, I thought about taking one of the Dollar Tree, the little nautical wood cutouts, painting them, and then putting it in the top center spot, and that would be a pretty option, but I ended up using the little wood cutout in the bottom section with the floral swag. For this bow, I did three loops on the left and three loops on the right. Um, this is 1.5 inch width ribbon with wire. So I'm just doing three on the left, three on the right, and then you're either going to need some floral wire or a zip tie to wrap it nice and tight around the center of your bow. I have lots of bow tutorials on my YouTube channel, so if you don't like this bow or you want one that I talk the whole way through, let me know and I can link it for you, or I also have a bow tutorial playlist on my channel. So here I'm just taking a zip tie, wrapping it nice and tight around the center of my bow. Now I'm dovetailing the ends, Fold your ribbon tail in half with the edges to the left side. Go to the folded side, cut away from the fold, and that makes the pretty V. On the ends, it just kind of dresses up your bow a little bit. Then fluff the loops and shape your bow. I did end up cutting the tails just a little bit shorter because I left them a little too long for this wreath. So I cut them shorter. Next, I'm taking a piece of floral wire, threading it, threading it underneath the zip tie, and I am going to use that wire to attach the bow to the center of my wreath. So I'm just taking the wires, going around that center wire in the wreath form, then I'm going to go to the back, give the wires a few twists. Now you could use those wires to hang your wreath on your door if you wanted to. Another easy way to hang up this anchor wreath is to take a piece of wire, thread it through the top of the anchor wreath form and just make a loop and hang it on your door. Now I'm taking some of my flowers from Dollar General and I'm just cutting them into shorter pieces. Now you'll want to leave a couple of them long. I ended up in the end going back and remaking this swag because it was just a little bit too small for the wreath. So I had the flowers there so I thought why not just use them all. So I did and I was much happier with the results. Swags are so simple to make. You're just going to take your flowers and cut them into shorter pieces. Now remember, since it is bigger than I thought at first, you'll want to leave two of those um, flower picks, I don't know what they're called, from Dollar General that are $1 each. Leave a couple of them, 
just like they came from the store. Leave them the full length and that way you can place them down first and then you're just going to overlap, put one on the left, one on the right, overlapping the stems. Just continue layering your flowers until you get the swag the size you want and then you'll want to take a zip tie and wrap it nice and tight around the center of your swag. I do not have a good tutorial of me remaking this swag and making it bigger because we'd already taken the lights down and everything, but you will get to see how it looks and I think you'll agree that the wreath needed the larger swag. When I'm making a swag, usually what I put on the left, I put on the right and just keep overlapping your stems, holding it in the center. And then once you get it the size you want, it's just easier for me to take a zip tie and zip tie it together. Now you could use floral wire if that's all you have, but zip ties are really nice and just hold so well too. Just make sure you pull your zip tie nice and tight around your flowers so that they don't slide or move. Now some of the stems that, or the ends of your flowers that are sticking out, you might have to trim them a little bit shorter. Then make sure you fluff your flowers. And then next, I used a little sailboat. I just spray painted it blue and I decided to put it in the center of the swag. Now this is the first one I did, the smaller version, and I thought it was just not enough there, so I ended up tying a single bow, adding the single bow and the sailboat, plus the larger swag, and I think it just came together much better. I think using all of the flowers to make the swag, it just looks better on the wreath and it also covers up where I don't have any yarn. So you might want to add all of the flowers instead of doing a petite swag. And then here I'm just wiring it on and because it will want to slide forward a little bit, you need to thread your wires, make sure you twist it tight. And then I took those wires and wrapped them around the top wire on the left and the right. That way the swag would not lean or fall forward. I went outside and I started filming the final video of the wreath and I just was not happy so that's why I went back inside, redid my swag, added some streamers or some tails to hang down from the wreath, tied a single bow and then I put it all together and I was much happier when I went back outside. There's no right way or wrong way to make a wreath. Just do whatever makes you happy. Sometimes you just have to step back and look at it. And then sometimes, you know, things just pop in your head and you're like, why didn't I think about that? Why didn't I do that? So this was kind of one of those things where I thought, I need another bow. I just love bows on my wreath. So why not add a second bow? I just took the wires on the bow, wrapped it around the swag, gave it a few twists. And then here I'm taking my swag with the bow attached and attaching it onto the little anchor wreath. Now remember, you will need to take those wires and secure them to the left and right wire so that it does not lean forward or anything. And then I just hot glued the little sailboat onto the wreath. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this anchor wreath. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, share this video with your friends and family. And if you have not subscribed, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Thank you guys for watching.